Five, twenty-four, and you can cut the tension with a knife. The fourth quarter is a test of skill, stamina, nerves, and determination. Nothing fancy, just fundamentally sound football. Havern to Coconus for first down. Dave Garnett rips off 13 yards. Five plays later, Esposito dies over for the touchdown. The score is West Virginia 35, Pitt 30, with enough time to pull off the impossible. This is the way WTAE's Ed Conway described it from the scene. Here come the Panthers. Second down, seven at the West Virginia 43. He's handing off to Denny Fair, cuts the corner, over the 40, knocks out of bounds for the to 38-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, high formation. Havern fakes to Ferris. He's passing for Esposito, he's got him at the 25! at the 21. First down fit at the West Virginia 21-yard line. Havert handing off to Ferris, trying to get wide, turns the corner and gets over the 20, down into about the 17-yard line. Havert gives off to Ferris, he bucks into the center of the line, gets down to about the 15-yard line, maybe the 16. Three minutes in this football game. Havert gets to Garnett, he battles his way forward, but not enough for the first down. Fourth and one for Pitt at the West Virginia 12. Havern to Esposito. I think he made it. I think he got into about the 10. Let's wait and see if we receive. No. A signal from the official is yet. They're calling for a measurement. They're bringing the six in. On this decision hinges the outcome of this football game, ladies and gentlemen. They made it. First down, Pitt. First and 10 for Pitt at the West Virginia 11. To Denny Ferris, over the right side and through for a couple of yards, down to about the eight. 35 to 30, West Virginia. Pitt with the football. Denny Ferris taking it in to about the five. It'll bring up a third and four for Pitt. Big play. Moyer wide to the right. Havens going to pass. He's throwing. Touchdown, Pitt. Still broke on it. The Panthers have tapped on amazing comeback. Virginia leading 35 to 8 at halftime. 